hey, how's it going? Well, my entire life, I've let people walk all over me. And eventually, there's a point where I'm like, I need to defend myself. So, blah, and I'll say, I'll just, I'll defend myself, but I'll be saying irrational things. I'll say things that don't necessarily make sense. It will be things, it will be ideas that are not completed. It will be, you know, that sort of thing. And it's been my entire life. The church, Sunday school, taught that, no, no, you don't really have a right to defend yourself. If you defend yourself, you're a sinner. You need to always turn the other cheek. Teachers, schools, the same thing. No, no, you shouldn't have to defend yourself. The bullying shouldn't be there at all. I switched schools. I switched, I should say, I, sh I switched school districts because I was bullied so much in elementary school. I was the laughing stock of my school in elementary school. I was so clueless about so many things, about interactions. I never learned some basic things about that. Okay, I'm just going to be blunt here. I, I was so socially clueless that, okay, I remember uh, they had this in gym class in elementary school. They brought these ropes down from the ceiling to see if people could climb the rope. And it was just myself and one other person who was able to climb to the top of the rope. By the time I climbed to the top of the rope, I came because of the motion of the legs. I didn't know what that meant. I wasn't taught what that meant. But, hey, that felt really good. So eventually, at the playground, I would sometimes go to the, there's a pole that you could slide down, and I would make it look like I'm trying to climb the pole, but what I was actually doing was it's something sexual in nature. I didn't know what it meant. So I got known as the kid who's fucking the pole. Okay, that's how clueless I was. I had no idea how to interact with others. Um... I remember at one point, you know, people would throw rocks at me, little rocks from the playground. And so, oh, that must be what people do. So I, uh, I got sent to the principal's office because I was throwing rocks at someone because I thought that's what people do. Oh, that's, that's how people, that's how people play on the playground. No, that's not what you do. And I, it's, you're wrong. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to interact. That's how clueless I was. I was the kid that people would take some of my belongings and throw them, they'd, they'd separate themselves, they'd throw things back and forth, and I'd be yelling, no, give my stuff back. Ah! I was that kid. No idea. Bullied so much, changed school districts. In high school, in order to, to continue going to the school, that, in, in order to go to that high school, I had to take a different type of science class. Instead of taking regular science, I had to take horticulture or agriculture because that's the only school that offered it. So if I wanted it, yeah. So that's how I, that's how I got into that high school instead of going to the one I was supposed to be going to. And, you know, I just, I never learned. Now, I, I, I eventually learned a bit more how to socialize, not much better, but uh, the way that I would, the thing that kept me from being bullied was the fact that people knew I was good at music. And I was, uh, and at the school dances, sometimes I would go into some dance and, and people would form a circle around me. Like, wow, I didn't know this kid could do this. You know, kind of like, I kind of think of Napoleon Dynamite, right? And so my way of, of defending myself, though, when people would bully me you know, in the later years was just, oh, you're so right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And that's what I did through most of my life. It's what I did also through, you know, I got kind of bullied by my grandmother. My grandmother was very abusive. 
And it was the same thing there. And then finally, I would get the courage to say something to her, and it would just be sometimes yelling incoherent things. So by the time I got to my 20s, my main focus was trying to make sure that I had an appearance that people wouldn't walk all over. People would be slightly intimidated by me. That was the big thing. And people that I saw that were intimidated the least were, you know, heavy guys, big guys, that just kind of, oh, 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 that sort of thing. So that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be one of the people that, that were slightly intimidating. And it worked. It worked for a while. And when I got bigger, that's, and carried it with pride, uh, you know, people didn't walk all over me as much. But I still didn't know how to deal. I still never learned the, 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 the proper ways of dealing with when people are trying to walk all over me. So, even to this day, I've still had those tendencies. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm... To, as a response. Now, why I'm telling you all of this is... I used, I, I, for the longest time here on YouTube, and I'm sure some people could have seen the videos, well, maybe some of you have seen the videos that I've made on it, where I'm just talking about how bad bullying is. But the thing I never really considered is, you know, even adults should have to know how to deal with bullying. I still haven't learned the, the right ways of dealing with bullying. And people will say, well, you shouldn't have to deal with bullying. You shouldn't have to. And it's just like, no, you do have to learn how to deal with bullying or you will be walked all over your entire life. And I've been walked over my entire life. There have been some times where I haven't, but, you know, it's important. It's an important skill. It's something we need to learn. This is, this is why it's such a travesty of justice, of justice, well, maybe not of justice, but it's it's awful that schools are still teaching these same sorts of bullshit uh, things. Don't defend yourself. Report a bully. Report a bully. And of course, on th something like, like YouTube, it's, it's let's censor the bullies. Let's stop them from being able to say this stuff. Now let's go to Trump. Okay, Trump is a bully. There's no doubt about it. He's a bully. He has a bully mindset. But the left, who are the ones that, that most often say that you should just, oh, I'm so sorry. When they see that that's not going to work, they react the way I used to, where you just, it's, it's, it's essentially yelling incoherently at the bullies. We have to stop it. No, it's just... And that's why the left, and I'm saying this as a general thing, I shouldn't say the left, but I don't know how to, the regressive left, the regressive side of the left, right? Left, right, yeah, that's great. Um, they need to learn that you can't respond to bullies the way that, that kids do. You can't respond that way, but that's what's been going on. And that's why it's important to, for, for the left, the regressive left, to learn, hey, you need to deal with this stuff reasonably. You can't be this kid who's jumping up and down, give me back my stuff, give me back my stuff. The left can't do that. You can't respond that way anymore. You can't just point at Trump, he's a fascist, he's, he's a racist, he's all these things, he's terrible. He is a bully. What are you going to do about it? Are you just going to point? He's, 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 is that how you're going to respond? Or are you going to respond in a reasonable way? Or are you going to just not respond and just say, well, he's a bully. Oh, well, he's a politician. He's a politician. That's the important thing we need to know. He's a politician. He may not have been a politician his whole life, but now he's in this position, and now he's a bully-type politician. 
What are you going to do about it? We need to get him out of office. Then you'll have Pence. Do you want Pence as president? If you think Trump is bad when it comes to what he actually does, the things that he implements, what do you think Pence, gonna be, Pence is going to be like? Awful. We can't take this, this stance that, that people have taken, that churches try to teach, that schools try to teach. You can't take that stance on bullying anymore. You have to deal with it reasonably. And if someone's bullying you with facts, you have to respond to the facts instead of responding to the bullying. And if you can't counter the facts that they're giving you, you might be wrong. This is an important lesson for everyone. And if the left, the, 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 the regressive left doesn't learn this, we will have Trump again. In, it, we, we, people will vote for Trump again in 2020. You've got to learn this. It's important. Thanks.